I'm sitting here on my boat on the lake of Zurich because it relaxes me. And having a relaxed mind is actually a very good advice when you look at your portfolio. Because you can't change it anyway. If you have a loss, you can't change it. If you have a profit, you can't change it either. So better to be relaxed because you will see profits and losses in your portfolios. I've seen, I've discussed the losses last week. Now let's discuss the profits of my first portfolio uh, this week. I made a lot of profit with Umicor. I made profit with Geronimo Martins, uh, a retailer. I understand that both of these companies have been really uh, good value. You know, the facts said they should be worth a lot more. Total Produce, a company in the fruit and vegetable business, I understand as well. What I don't understand at all is RWE, the German uh, electricity conglomerate. Because when I bought RWE, I had somebody call me, a friend of mine, saying, are you crazy to buy RWE? They are in Chapter 11. They, they are going through bankruptcy proceedings. And I didn't know that, of course, because I'm focusing on the Obermott ranks. Now, at that point, uh, I heard about the problems that RWE has with nuclear power plant. And I must say, I would have not invested in a nuclear power plant if I had known about that. But just in that company that I would have not bought, I made an 8% profit. As a matter of fact, I analyzed Volkswagen. And if you had invested a week after the Volkswagen uh, exhaust scandal broke, you would have actually made a double digit percentage profit from your stocks. So even if a company goes through a very bad phase of very bad news, it can still be a profit for shareholders. And that's one of the reasons why you should not try to explain your portfolio. Focus on the future, find your next st stocks. I wish you good luck with it.